4B20, 5-speed manual, rear-wheel drive, and it comes with a freaking TV. We're talking about the Nissan Sifiero. Welcome to Cars You Didn't Know Existed. Now this bad baby puts out 212 horsepower and 195 foot-pounds of torque. But because of it having the RB20, this sucker's got unlimited power potential. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Now considering they made over 141,000 of these cars, how come no one's ever heard of them? Well, the big reason is they were only kept in Japan for a very long time. They had the A31, the A32, the A33. Today, we're just talking about the A31. Now, the A31 was made from 1988 to 1993, and its main purpose was to rival Toyota Chaser and Toyota Cresta. But the really weird thing about this car is you can pretty much get it any configuration you wanted. There was 801 different configurations. You have four door, five door hatch, six different freaking engine options, four wheel drive, front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, manual, automatic, too much. There was literally over 801 options that you could just customize this car. I mean, we're talking the choice of auto projector beam headlights, dimmer mirrors, and like I said, a freaking TV. How cool is that? Now the best engine this Sifiero offered was the RB20 DET. This was the real powerhouse. This was kind of the one you were looking for. This is what they put in all the different drift missiles you see riding around. This is the 2J of Nissan. This is a beautiful motor. As long as they have oil. <laughs> so what makes the Nissan Sifiero no one's ever freaking heard of so special? Well, I'm gonna tell you. It had four doors, baby! Four doors, more doors, four doors, more doors. But the big reason is it shares the rear suspension, engine, and transmissions with the Skyline R32. So you have this beautiful four-door beast that's built like a freaking tank. Now, the only issue was they were a little bit more expensive, but they were more expensive because they had better technology, they had more features, blah, blah, blah. Some of them actually on the passenger side, now they were, most of them were right-hand drive, but on the passenger side, you pop down that little thing that stops you from blinding yourself or whatever. What do they call those nowadays? Sun visors? Whatever those sun visor thingies are, and sometimes there's DVD players in them, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I heard it, I thought it was cool. It also has a slightly longer wheelbase in the Skyline. Now this car was super ahead of its time. It had supersonic suspension and speed sensitive steering. With the speech impediment, that's not fun to say. Now with all these cool features and all these cool things, you'd think this would be a beautiful car, you'd think you'd know about it, you'd think it'd be around everywhere. Well, it actually failed. See, at the time, they actually thought the car looked too futuristic and they didn't like the looks of it. So it didn't sell for looks and all the people that could afford one ended up going with the R32. Reasonably. I get it. I get it. But that's not the end of their story. You are starting to see more of them. I've never had the luck to see one in person, but you are going to see more. The 25 year import law is a thing. They'll finally make their way into the US a little bit. You're starting to see them here and there. It's like little freaking drift missiles. It's really freaking cool. Now, what do you do if you want to pick up one of these bad boys? Well, get to importing. There's plenty of websites that you can go on that'll let you import things from other countries. That's honestly where they're at. A lot of them are in Japan, but a lot of them are also spread around the entire world. I mean, they're, they're pretty much everywhere at this point. They didn't used to be, but they are now. Everywhere except where I want them, which is right here. All I know is it's a pretty sick car. I got this idea from someone in the comment section. Just tell me about theirs. They have one of the 832 or 833s, I forget. But I'm just doing it on the A31 because I, I just thought it was neat, you know. I don't know. But still, these are awesome cars. Something to look into. There's more generations. If you can't get into the A31, try the 32, try the 33. It's one of the most unique cars I've ever seen. You can get them with, like, the engine from, like, like the VQs from, like, the 350Zs. You can get them with the old ones. Like, I just, it's so cool. The, the amount of options are endless on these cars and it makes for a lot of fun. If you have any other car ideas or car suggestions for videos, leave them in the comments and I'll try to do a video on one. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. And this was Cars You Didn't Know Existed. Have a good one.